Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Trackmania map discovery and today we have a very very special discovery because literally two hours ago out of freaking nowhere Nadeo dropped the Trackmania World Tour 2024 Fall Map Pack. This is the final map pack of this year's World Tour. Um, these five maps that were released will be played in the playoffs and also in the World Cup itself. So on these five maps, which we only have two weeks to practice for now, it's gonna be decided who's gonna even participate in the World Cup, which is basically the most prestigious tournament of the uh, of the entire year. And of course also who's gonna win the World Cup. So arguably the five most important eSport maps of the entire year of Trackmania. We only have two weeks to learn them, so I booted up a stream very late in the evening now to discover them. We're gonna discover them one by one for the people watching on YouTube. I will upload one map per day, so make sure to tune in daily. And uh, also important to say, I don't know anything about the maps. I haven't seen any other streamer playing it. The only thing that I do know is that the maps are supposed to be so much more difficult than the previous ones we had. Longer, harder, crazier, better, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I would say without losing any more time, we're gonna hop into the map pack. And here we have the five maps. Wait, why do I have time? Wait, this is not correct. Ah, nee, here, World Cup 2024, yeah, <laughs> my bad. Okay, so five maps. Let's let's go through the names real quick. Castle Mania, Roll Cage, Secrets, Spin Off, and Wave Control. Yeah, haven't seen anything. Chat probably has seen more than I did. So uh, yeah, feel free to post and Osabe, Clueless, and uh, Streamer doesn't know. And we're gonna hop straight onto map one, guys. Or the map of today for the YouTube people. So we're downloading a mod. We have a mod. Okay. So we don't have a vanilla looks. Understandable. Ah, uh, 113. The map is 1 minute 13 long. That is really long. We have continental sponsorship. So maps are actually sponsored. That is pretty good. I like that. Also nice sponsorship integration. We have the blimps. We have some signs. Nice sponsors. Always uh, a good thing. But yeah, from the top, don't see anything. I see obviously a lot of castle blocks. Castle mania. That's where the name comes from. It doesn't look like a 1 minute 13 map. It looks like a rather slow map. Anyway, I don't know anything. We're gonna hop straight in. Where the hell do I have to go? Not here. Understandable. Okay. Oh, U-turn drifts into a jump out. Interesting. Oh, tight turn. Okay. That is gonna be a rather slow map. I like these castle blocks. Very cool usage. Looks like a um, middle age Dingsbums castle. But so far, nothing too crazy. Very technical though. But mostly just driving? But this is only map 1. I don't think they would put the hardest map from the entire map pack into the first slot, you know? That won't happen. So this is probably the easiest map. So, another jump like this. This looks like a massa map. But 1 minute 13 is crazy. Okay, small drift cancel you can do here probably. Okay, a lot of tight... Okay, no, I, I was just scared that it's gonna be a new slide, but no. It's just like this and then... Bang. Oh, outside dirt as well. That's always, of course, something scary. Oh god, what is that exit? That looks hella bumpy. Why are you guys saying El Nosaba? Did I miss anything? Surely I didn't miss a risky route or something, right? Okay, but very pace-heavy map, to be honest. Nothing too crazy here. Just long and hard. Like, uh, yeah. 133. Hmm. Uh, World Cup this year is solo. Like the entire Trackmania World Tour this year, I will not be playing with Massa. I will still practice with him, probably, but um, that's it. So I plan to play every map for around uh, 5... Nee, not 5. Uh, 30 minutes. Plus minus 5 minutes-ish. Okay, looks like a normal map, to be honest. Like, Very technical, though. I can already see some people who could be really good at maps like this. But not necessarily a Granadi map. I don't know if I'm missing anything in terms of strategies, but I don't see anything crazy here. Looks like a good map though, but yeah. But it's very rare that Kiesler maps like really favor me. Like Kiesler always builds in a way that it's I don't really like it too much. Not because the maps are bad, it's just not really my style. So hop, then I was down here, 
shoot. Then it was the outside. The outside into wobbly bobbly. Okay, you can risk this a lot though. Even though it's rather simple, it's not gonna be like easy to do. I can tell you that much. Okay, but am I missing anything, guys? Am I missing anything or is this like a pretty okay uh, map? Like, th there is nothing crazy here. This is not hard for anything. Like, the main difficulty is the map being technical and being long. Missing gold? Yeah, like, come on. We're not gonna go for ATs. ATs seem uh, hunted. I think that's pretty obvious that I'm not going for ATs. Okay, this is also gonna be important. I feel like this is also gonna be quite gear heavy. Like, that you can, like, keep the gear in some sections. And with that, game time. But yeah, nothing crazy, to be honest. This is just a normal map. Like, very technical, rather slow-paced. Absolutely fair, but... Not a map where I would say, oh my god, this mapping is so hard. And mapping-wise, like, also normal. Not, like, like, good, but nothing impressive, to be honest. Which is my first impression. Just a normal map. So if the other maps are like this, then I don't get why everybody was having a bit of an... Not really outrage, but like, oh my god, this is so difficult. But I'm pretty sure this is gonna be the easiest map, guys, so... For the people watching on YouTube, uh... Yeah. No? <laughs> Probably tomorrow, or whenever I upload the next video. It's gonna be very different. Chat is saying clueless. And I know Sabe. Chat is always smart, we all know that. Very easy to miss the finish as well. Okay, we're gonna go for gold, of course. At least. Clean run in general. Okay, it's not plastic and you can warbang. This is a flowy drift. Oh god, I got, I got a penalty. Nice. First time message, have you considered driving faster? Let me try that. Good tip. I haven't. But also, if I drive like shit today, guys, Reminder, it is after 10 p.m. and usually at this time I'm about to go to bed. Okay, not to bed, but like it's very late for me. And like here for example, the fourth gear is pretty pretty awkward. About to go to bed. <laughs> you know what I mean guys? Chill your peanuts. This turn, eh? Holy moly. Yeah, I'm never a fan of, like, slow technical maps. Never, uh... I rather like fast and wicked and dang. Not slow and technical. But yeah, this is a massa map, rather. Definitely a massa map. I bet massa liked this. Castle blocks also always pretty tricky because uh, they are very bumpy, very hard to get like good lines on them. Not even sure if this is an outside drift here. Could maybe be inside as well. Ah. Now yeah, I can definitely do a no slide here. Ay ay ay. Masa doesn't like it, lul. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I also don't like it too much, to be fair. But mainly because it's not really my style. As I said, I like fast-paced, wicked, dank, creative. This is not really any of this. Like creative, maybe, yeah. Like, don't think I ever see or saw a map with that much castle use. So in that regard, it's unique. And I'm also not sure yet about the gears on this map. Very important to get these jumps clean. But with these maps being out now, uh, our practice for XPVO also officially ended. Like we were practicing actively XPVO the last few days together, also together with ITB. 
But uh, yeah, next two weeks we're not gonna touch XP World maps at all. And it's gonna be full focus on this. So also the next two weeks probably I can also tell you the amount of time that I will stream will have to be reduced. Because it is just the most important tournament of the year. So, uh, yeah, I just gotta focus on it. Even though World to the Series Yak and all of that, we all know that. But the tournament is still important. And I'm still officially um, eSport Pro and not content creator. So, I'll probably keep streaming Cup of the Day pretty much every single day. And maybe a little bit before that, maybe Bon Cup on Thursday, you know, but that's pretty much it. For the next two weeks. But then afterwards, the entire year of eSport is basically uh, at the end. <laughs> so then will be Content Nyko coming back. This year is very weird. Okay, I haven't been here in a while. Bit of a two wheel here. Okay, 117.6, four seconds behind 80, so definitely not the cleanest run. Let me actually um, activate my grinding cells just to see how long I spend on each map. Wait, only nine minutes yet? Yik, <laughs> feels way longer. Okay, we're gonna try to do a little bit cleaner. As I said, like around half a minute, uh, half an hour per map. I know YouTube people, for example, mostly don't care and people on Twitch probably neither. Like I could play each map for two hours now and people would also be happy. But uh, as I said, it's quite late already and I want to get the discovery done for today. So uh, yeah, around half an hour per map. This map probably a little bit less because there is not much to do here. But yeah, I can very well imagine that this is going to be my least liked map of the uh, map pack. And I wouldn't also be not surprised if this is like the easiest map. I like that there are some of these jumps which you can risk. Like when you have a lot of speed you can like go for a lower jump and with that be faster. Yeah, this is Kiesla mapping again. Can get a gear down. I don't know why every single Kiesla map has at least one point like that. Can avoid it of course but seems a bit yak. Here I always like have air time. Ah, that's how I have to go. And down fully slide. And that's a very tight slide. Okay, that was obviously not good. What would you guys rate this map? Just from spectating. On a scale from 0 to 10, what is your uh, what is your guys' verdict? Seven, four, four, five, six, eight, five, three, six, six, five, 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 five point four, five, six point eight, three, five point five. Yeah, pretty average to be honest. Like averaging at around five, I would say. So looks boring to me. Yeah, would be boring to watch in rounds. Think rounds will be very interesting to watch. Okay. Yeah, it depends on what you like to watch in rounds. Like if you like close races, then this is probably gonna be. One of the best maps for it, even though I don't know the others yet. But if you are the type of guy to have like exciting crazy rounds, wicked rounds, where somebody can pull off a trick and gain 05 and do clutch comeback, which is what I personally like, then this is probably a rather bit of a low on the scale. Could be an inside slide, to be honest. Could be like a crazy risky line. Gonna find that out with Masagai. Probably I shouldn't talk too much about strats or anything, to be honest. Maybe seems a bit try hard, but. But, yeah. Like, this tournament is so stacked. Like, only from the top 32 who made it to the playoffs. Only four people will make it to the World Cup. 
Which is crazy. Only one eighth. So it is gonna be insanely stacked. Sadly, World Cup only has four, uh, eight slots this year. And four of them are... Yeah, not wasted, but four of them are... Let's just say stupidly... Um, stupidly... Uh, how do you say that? Stupidly given away. Like, yeah, you guys know, I'm not a... Uh, allocated, yeah. I'm not a fan of the regional qualifiers, and also not of the fact that Otak got a free slot. Not because I don't like Otak, or because I think he wouldn't have qualified otherwise. Just by the way everything worked. Not a fan of that. But that's a different topic again. <laughs> and like this you can go for more speed, but you don't really need that speed. Like you make this jump and then it's it. Hmm. Ah, God. So much you can clip. Who's getting the four slots? Yeah, so basically, a uh, previous world champ got a free slot to the World Cup. And the previous world champs were both uh, Bren and Otak. And in the ending, um, Otak got it. I don't know what exactly went on behind the scenes there. I just know that Bren was like pissed about everything overall. And that because of that, he's also boycotting World Cup this year, sort of. Not sure exactly. Casey gave it to Otak. Yeah, well then it was like that and Brent was not asked. Maybe I have no idea. I was not involved there. I just know that there was also not like drama be behind that, but also like kind of a shit show going on, you know. And I also know that Brent didn't blame like Otak for it or something. It was rather the way Nadeo or Casey handled it or I don't know. I don't want to say anything that might not be true. I just know there was a bit of a shit show. So one slot is given like that. Then uh, there was one regional qualifier, which was uh, for the uh, American region, so North and South America. And that one obviously went to Carl Jr. He basically uh, got a free, I mean, not to disrespect the other players, but Carl absolutely dominated. Nobody else had a chance against Carl. Carl got it against like people like Neil, Lingo, don't know who else. It was obvious that Carl is gonna get it. And arguably, you know, Carl would have also uh, qualified in like an uh, open worldwide international qualifier. Like, probably he would have, yes. But still. Pretty weird that somebody can qualify by beating overall worse players than like us Europeans have to. Just not a fan of this entire regional thing. Then there was the same for, um, for the rest of the world. So basically everybody besides Europe. So there were people from like Australia fighting against people from Turkey. That was basically the rest of the world region. Um, there Mada took it in a... He had a good match but it was still rather close. He played against people like Huzo. I know Birdie was also trying. People like that. Same thing there. And in that, in that case I would have said... It's even more of an issue than with Carl because Carl would have probably qualified either way. I'm honestly not sure about Mada because Mada uh, d doesn't have much competitive experience with Real yet. So, looking how close that match between Mada and the others was, partly, I'm not sure if Mada would have qualified otherwise. And yeah, it's the same as with the uh, American region. I'm just not a fan of the way they handled the regional thing. Like, it would have been fine if there would have been more slots overall, you know, if there would have been 16 slots and then three of them would have gone to regionals, okay. But not if it's only eight. For that, um, I don't really find it fair. And it's not like to blame Mada or to say any one of the region doesn't like, wouldn't have had a chance or anything. It's just not really fair, if you ask me. But that's my own opinion. You can agree with it or you cannot, I don't really care. That's just what I think. And then um, there's also gonna be an, uh, like we're gonna have the playoffs now. The playoffs where these five maps will be used. Ah yeah, and what's another thing by the way, uh, Carl and Mada qualified on the previous map pack. So they uh, basically, they basically uh, also can practice these maps now, but they're only gonna see them or like gonna play them in Paris at the actual World Cup. So they don't have to like publicly show their times or anything because they don't have to play the playoffs that we have to play now. So they can just like copy our tricks and 
I don't know, also a bit of a weird thing to be honest. I don't know if it's just me or if the gears are really not good on this map. Like the gears seem pretty yak. Oh, you can jump there, great. That is fantastic. So yeah, could be seen as an advantage so that uh, they can hide their times and stuff. Could also be seen as a disadvantage because um, they don't have match experience then at World Cup. Depends on how you see it. It's just weird that some people, like, it doesn't matter if you like see it as an advantage or disadvantage. It's just weird that not everybody going to the World Cup has like the same standpoint if they when they go there. I, I don't know if you know what I mean, but yeah. Uh, and then uh, there is also going to be um, a slot given away to the European uh, Major winner. And the European Major is Xpevo. And Xpevo is a tournament that I'm also going to, so I could technically also get the spot there. The thing is, Xpevo is in four weeks. The World Tour Playoffs is in two weeks. In order to have a chance at the World Tour Playoffs, I need to fully grind the World Tour maps, like these five new maps, for the next two weeks straight. If I don't play them every single day a lot, I will have no chance because someone else will fully grind them and will beat me down. Because Trickmania has a lot about how much time you invest. The thing is, when I put two hour, two entire weeks now into this map pack, I lose two weeks of XP map pack. And if I fully go for the World Tour things and um, I don't make it there and I go to XP trying to win that, I have two weeks of practice less in comparison to some people who only play XP and I will most likely get beaten by them. So it doesn't really make uh, a lot of sense to me. Like the timing of Xpevo is just like very, very, very bad. And it was also not communicated. I remember when the World Tour playoffs and World Cup was announced, the Xpevo dates were already set in stone and the Xpevo organizers were super, super pissed about it. Like super, super, super annoyed that it was not communicated. So uh, yeah, the thing is, so basically um, if you grind two hours, uh, two weeks for Xpevo uh, for the World Tour playoffs, you will probably not have a chance at Xpebo. I mean, you will have a chance, of course, but you will have a harder time at Xpebo. But if you grind all of the time for Xpebo and you don't play the World Tour Playoffs, and then you win Xpebo because you practiced like eight weeks straight for it, you will go to the World Cup then, which is two weeks later, and you only have two weeks then to learn the World Tour maps. So, uh, basically, you will not have a chance against anyone else in the World Cup because they have way more time at it. Like, the timing of Xpebo is just very, 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 very bad. Couldn't be worse, basically. So I think, um, if like in my opinion, whoever is going to win Xpevo most likely will not have a chance at World Cup, and whoever is going to try to qualify for the World Tour directly for the World Cup will not have a great chance at Xpevo, or like basically a disadvantage. I don't know; it might have sounded confusing, but if you think about it, uh, it makes sense. I think you know what I mean. Anyway, um, I think we're going to keep it at that. I'm going to watch the world record here. I'm sorry for all the waffling. I know this is supposed to be a map discovery. But uh, I think it's kind of important to, um, to to talk a little bit about uh, behind the scenes and the current situation and stuff. And I mean, if you're watching the World Tour Discovery here, the map discovery, you're probably also interested in that. And I'm pretty sure at least many YouTube viewers um, didn't know what the current standpoint is. So, yeah. Uh, yes, this is first map. I didn't see anything else yet. So let's see if I missed anything. Don't think so. Uh, overall, a map, honestly, not a great fan. Not my type of map. Some gears seem weird. Nothing super creative. A few parts that I like, for example, all of these jumps, because you can reduce airtime accordingly to your speed. I like stuff like that. Basically, it gives the chance to catch up a little bit when you have a part good, like some small snowball, basically. Other than that, um, nothing special, nothing crazy, and nothing extraordinary good. That's my opinion. But definitely, if you're watching on YouTube, let me know what you think about this map, just spectating-wise. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed first discovery. And uh, we will only see each other uh, tomorrow then for map number two that I will upload, which is, I'm very sure, it's going to be more crazy. 100%. 100% sure. So this is the run here by Ender. Nice time. One second away from AT. Obviously a lot more possible. Well, yeah, that was map one, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it.